Hello everyone! In this video, you will learn chromatic polynomial. Given a graph G, number of colors is lambda, find the chromatic polynomial, which is the number of ways to color a graph with at most lambda colors. Let's look at the first example. We have n vertices, but no edges. m equal to 0. We are also given lambda colors. This one, number of colors. Color 1, color 2, color 3 until color lambda. For example, let's say we have a graph with 4 vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4. n equal to 4. But no edges, so no relation. No relation between the first vertex and the second vertex. Since they are not adjacent to each other, for each vertex, we can use lambda number of colors. Because if it is adjacent, we should use different color. But now since it is not adjacent, we can use color blue here. In here also color blue. It doesn't matter. So here you have lambda number of colors. Here also you have lambda number of colors. In here you have lambda number of colors. In here also you have lambda number of colors. So the chromatic polynomial for this graph given lambda colors is equal to lambda times lambda times lambda times lambda this one times lambda equal to lambda power 4 ah, you have n equal to 4 right so this one is actually is the number of vertices so n vertices no edges pg lambda is equal to lambda power n Second example, now you have a complete graph, Kn, n vertices. Let's say we have K4. Let's draw K4. 1, 2, 3, 4 vertices. It's a complete graph. It means that every vertex must be adjacent to all other vertices. So the first one should adjacent to this one. This one should adjacent to this one. This one also must be adjacent to this one. Okay, this one adjacent to the first one, adjacent to this one, and adjacent to this one. This vertex must adjacent to this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, we have lambda colors. The number of colors is lambda. If you use red here, in here you cannot use red. You have to use blue, for example. This one should be not red, not blue, but black. This one, not red, not blue, not black, but green. Because it adjacent to all other vertices. So if this one you have lambda colors, this one would be less one colors. In here, you have used two colors, so less two colors. In here, lambda minus three colors. So the chromatic polynomial for a K4 is equal to lambda times lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 2 times lambda minus 3. In general, you can say pg lambda, this one, is equal to lambda, lambda minus 1, lambda minus 2, 
dot 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 lambda minus n plus 1 and this one is equal to lambda factorial over lambda minus n factorial so this is the general form or maybe this one and this one I can write it as this one is k for for this problem and this one is the general kn next example a pass let's say we have p5 so we have 1 2 3 4 if you want to put it down also can and 5 if you start this one as lambda this one become you have used the first color so now you have to use the second color but in here you can use back the first color it means that the number of colors is less one because you cannot use this color this one let's say blue let's say this one is blue this one is green this one you can use blue again when you want to use green you have less one colors because you cannot use blue when it comes to the third vertex you can use blue but you cannot use green it means that you still have less one color and less one color and less one color so the chromatic polynomial of p5 given lambda colors is equal to lambda so times lambda minus 1 1 2 3 4 times and this one is actually n minus 1 because the n is equal to 5 it's a p5 so generally you can say that the chromatic polynomial of pn given lambda colors is equal to you have the first one lambda times lambda minus 1 power n minus 1 what if the graph has multiple components let's say you have a p3 and you also have k3 in one graph what you need to do is to multiply using product rule so you do one by one okay so for p3 it is equal to lambda and lambda minus one one two three so three minus one two this one for a k3 this one is a complete graph so lambda factorial over lambda minus three factorial therefore p this one is your graph g g lambda is equal to you multiply lambda lambda minus 1 square times lambda factorial over lambda minus 3 factorial 